what's up y'all and welcome to another bloggy vlog okay so right now i'm about to try on some clothes and i decided to do like a little mini try on haul and these clothes are from jerly she so y'all make sure that y'all write these outfits in the comments okay be active and also let me know which outfit is your favorite which you would wear or whatever and yeah just talk to your girl okay because we about to put these looks together for the summer yeah and then i've been going to the gym y'all you can't tell me nothing. Day five. Day five of the gym. This is everything that I have. I only have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pieces. So, yeah. Let's try them on and see if we like them. Some people are going to think that I'm crazy. But I don't care. All that matters to me is Isaiah. Yeah. Some people are going to think that I'm crazy. But I don't care. Okay, so this was the first outfit, and this was actually a jumpsuit, y'all. When I tell you guys I loved it, the material was super stretchy. Y'all already see how it got my body looking, okay? And then it did come with this string, so you can tie it however you would like, but I personally had liked it like this. And y'all, it was given, okay? You seen how it looked on the original picture before I got it, and it definitely looked the same in person, so 10 out of 10. Okay, so boom, moving on to the second outfit. So this is a dress, obviously, and y'all, this dress was only $24, okay? And it's so cute and so trendy. I literally love the print on it. It's cute, and y'all, this is given for the summer, okay? Like, I can see me in the summertime wearing this. Summertime, fine. But, um, yeah, it did fit my curves really good. Y'all know I'm a size small, so y'all could just keep that in mind if you guys were looking to shop so y'all can know what size I am. But definitely a 10 out of 10 as well. I do love this dress and yeah So boom, outfit number three, and this is actually a two-piece set, and as you guys can see, it is mesh material, and I love me a good mesh material, y'all. Ain't nothing wrong with a little see-through, okay? But yeah, so this is super cute. I would definitely wear this to go out, brunch, outside, okay? So I could do a handstand. Let me stop. But yeah, so this was really cute, and it did fit me really good, and also the bottoms were flare bottoms, so I like this. It was a little high-waisted at first, but I had to pull it down, but it was cute. So this is a top and it's also a mesh material like the last outfit and i love me a good little flare sleeve and then you know i have my little shoulder out y'all so it gives that hint of sexy so this top definitely is a 10 out of 10 when i tell y'all i was not disappointed with the clothes that they sent like everything was so cute so 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 cute so yeah but love this top and i can see me wearing this out as well this summer and it's not like you'll get overheated because it is see-through material so definitely a 10 out of 10. so next this piece is a dress and of course it's a hockey team now me y'all i don't know so much about hockey but it's all good because the graphics was really cute it's all about the aesthetic okay so yeah i definitely love this it did fit really good it wasn't see-through material at all it had to be like cotton mixed with a little something because it was stretchy but not too stretchy but yeah definitely a 10 out of 10 as well when i tell y'all i'm just giving them 10s like they snapped on this whole batch of clothing that they had sent but yeah um this is simple you know you could dress it up you could dress it down however you please so yeah definitely on my to wear list for this summer as well so yeah
Now this dress was super cute too. I do want to rate this one like an 8 out of 10. Just because it was kind of big on my stomach area. But y'all it's so cute. Okay it was so cute. But it was giving me like nightgown vibes. But I don't know. Maybe that's just probably how it fit on and me. And by the way like I'm I said, I am small, small and everything. I you like the dress kind of like a look. Side I love the dress look. What I wear. Especially on this dress. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was 10 out tighter of 10. in the middle. I would have definitely gave this a 10 out of 10 because, I mean, this is so cute, y'all. You could definitely dress this up as well with some cute heels, cute bag, cute accessories. So, I mean, yeah, 8 out of 10. Um, it might fit on y'all a little better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is so cute. So, I definitely was feeling myself. And I'm probably going to see if I can get this dress tailored because I do like this. So, yeah. But make sure that you guys go check out Jerly She, okay? This is their website. I just wanted to show y'all some more cute stuff that they have. So, of course, they have cute tops. They have cute bottoms. They have cute matching sets. Y'all, anything that you're looking for that's trending on Instagram, I promise they have it. So, yeah, make sure that you guys go check them out. All of their details are in the description box. So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this clothing haul. So, let's move on to the vlog. <laughs> Make sure that y'all let me know how y'all felt about this clothing haul. Um, I definitely want to do more, especially because summer coming up. So you know, I gotta give all of the hot girls and the hot mamas good little clothing inspo. And it's time for this wig to come all the way off. Like, oh my god, it's time. So don't be coming for me in these comments. I'm about to rip this wig off. Like today, I can't do it no more. Today, today, today. Okay. I'm in the middle of cleaning up, so I do have clothes scattered. These are clothes that I'm giving away to Goodwill, so they're in a the bag. Hey, look, I'm gonna record like this so y'all won't see my lace. <laughs> oh my god, oh. all my exes stay in Texas. I'm a Houston hottie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're not gonna laugh with me? Hold on. Do that. Okay. Right here. You're not laughing how you was with Momo. Sister Texas. I love the way you work. I want to show you how to play play spades. Oh, I did not mean to zoom in. Amor, you do not know how to play spades. Yes, I do. I love the way you work. Four free, three free. Bear feel left out right now, y'all. He feel like he and baby baby jail right now. Cause I got him in his playpen. I love the way you work it. Oh, look at these cards. I love, I got that. I can see him. Oh, no. Yeah, go ahead. No, I'll put, I'll, I'll get that Let me get a mirror. Don't look at my cards. This <laughs> all you wanted? This is all he wanted. He want to be a part of everything, y'all. Uh, Put that one down, go ahead. Put it down. Slam it down. Mm. Mommy, what clothes do I have red? Okay. My turn? No, it's about to. Mm. Uh. I love granolas. Mm. They're so good, like. I can't even eat my yogurt if there's no granolas in there. And, um, don't give it to me. But chia seeds take show yogurt to a whole different level. Share with me. You can't have nothing to yourself when you have kids. Like, no. How about no? Yes. Let me see no. Gonna mix that up. It's mine. This is mine. This is mine. 
I just want the yellow. Get you your own spoon out the pantry. Mm. I got it. That's not, not bad. I bought her her own animals. You think she ate them? Okay. I mean, drank them? No. <laughs> no, she want my stuff. He's gonna be greedy number two. That's for all my stuff. Well, he already looking. No. Uh-uh. Oh my God, it's Friday. BMF comes on today. Oh, I gotta watch it when I go to sleep. So I'm about to put Amora in the bath and then we're gonna head to my mom's house or whatever. We have like a little movie night over there and you know, we've been trying to keep her company since she's not really able to move around right now. So yeah, we're gonna head on over there. Amir, he not even dirty child. I just gave him bath last night. We've been sitting in this damn house. <laughs> he not getting no baths right now. Amora! <coughs> My allergies have been kind of acting up and I never was the type to have allergies, but y'all, my throat been irritating me. My nose has been running, coughing. I'm just like, damn, am I sick? But everybody was like, no, it's, it's allergy season, it's allergy season. I'm like, damn, I never had to deal with like allergy problems ever. So why now? I already know we use this with the melatonin blend. Boom. You know what melatonin is? Yeah, it's something like a gummy. She got me too. So, it is made to go straight to sleep home. So, me and Alessia and, um, Carly. And Casey's daughter. They had two. And they gave y'all one? Yeah, to go straight to sleep because they, they, they was about to do two <laughs> And then we went to Wally Park to, for my birthday. That's why we went to Tennessee. One thing about them kids, they're going to tell you everything. They're going to tell you the tea. They're going to tell you the real about what they had there and what they went down. My baby is not crazy. She knew what, the, what the, she was getting that another song for. <laughs> she knew. A boy be putting toys in here that's not even damn toys. Not completely out. <laughs> he had literally just went to sleep. So she had some bubbles. We like big, big, big bubbles in our bag. I seen this girl put a TV in her bathroom, and let me tell you, if I put a TV in here, I would live in my baby's bathroom. Like this wouldn't even be our bathroom no more. This would be our bathroom. All of us, okay? Amir, me, and you. Yes. What? That's yeah. just too many people being there. Yeah, but we can be in the bath. Right, I'm gonna put it right here. It's our last year at school. Hey guys. How you doing in there, Momo? Can you can you see me waving? No, now I can. Stop. Let me see. My teacher gonna see this. <laughs> she be watching your video. She be watching you. Hey, I'm Morris teacher. I'm not gonna say her name on here, but yeah, hey this girl. When I say this wig is about to just be snatched off. Snatched. Snatched. Ready to get out? No, I'm just making myself. I'm more of soaking in the tub like it's the pool. That's my drink. That's the caramel frap I ordered. I want extra with cream. Kids don't have good customer service. Oh, where's your manager? No, your business. Oh, I'm about to leave a review. What's your name? No, your business. Oh, this is the caramel for our pay. Don't drink it for real. I'm not gonna drink that for real. It's filling your bath water. 
How much money do I owe you, ma'am? Your business. Oh, well, I don't have to pay you. Bye. Stop. I don't have to pay you. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's free. Yeah. It is. Bye bye. You don't play about your money. Tell me your price. Um. Nothing for free. Tell me about Okay, don't charge me that much. Uh, um, $10. $10? Unless, uh, it can be $10 for the whole That's your price, $10? Okay, eight, here you eight. go, girl. Hey, okay. Here go your money. Yeah, I'm going to get out there. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm serious. <laughs> Look, what you gotta tell the camera? It wasn't me. Okay. It was a stop. <laughs> hey, what you doing? He don't want to be recorded, but guess what? You on camera. What you gotta say? Get the camera out my goddamn face. <laughs> she finished her crawfish, y'all. The container that it was in, y'all. Huge. Oh, huge container. It's all going down. Okay, we just got to Walmart and he is about to cut up, so I have to get his milk and and y'all I did take this wig off, so y'all wanna see what it look like up under this hat. Oh but um yeah I had to just put the wig on with the hat on top of it. If you know, you know. But yeah, so we're about to get his milk. Um I just don't like sending him nowhere with um when he's low on his stuff. So we about to re up milk diapers um what else that's it and really y'all like he runs out of diapers like crazy like crazy because he he be peeing a lot he pees so much told you be kicking them socks off why do you kick the socks off <laughs> So I did drop Fat Man off, so he is gone for the weekend. And we're over here by my mom's house still. I'm probably going back home tonight. Amora might want to stay because my mom's best friend came in town. That's the lady that brought us that good crawfish. We just ate so good. Like they had came three in the morning. Amora was asleep, but baby, I was up and I was waiting on that crawfish. As soon as she came through the door, baby, it went down. Down. Y'all seen that big old box, okay? Me, I'm a big crawfish head. And I have some ginger ale. I love some ice cold ginger ale. Mm. So good. But um, yeah, so I'm just sitting in the parking lot chilling. I feel like I haven't been talking to y'all that much like i really want to start interacting with you guys more and you know vibing with y'all some more because i miss how we used to interact and you know life has just been pulling me in all different kind of ways i am literally the only person running all of my businesses so please just bear with me y'all it's it's a it's a lot so what did i want to tell you guys oh okay so i am hosting a game show coming soon okay coming this month soon so my submissions are still open if you would like to submit text everything to this flyer but i am looking for people 20 to 26 looking for love and must be located in atlanta okay so yeah i'm excited i'm so excited and i'm so excited to put something fresh and new on my channel because i post a lot of mommy content and i love posting mommy content i love y'all seeing how i love my babies and how me and my babies interact and you know our bond and stuff but y'all sometimes i be wanting to switch it up okay because it's more to my life than being a mommy so yeah i want to show y'all like all of that all of the aspects of my life and just like having some fun as well okay bringing some real real deal laughs to the channels and i feel like i'm in my era of like stepping out of my box i feel as if i was always so comfortable like being here and baby i want to be in different boxes like i want to be able to step out of my comfort zone so 
yeah stay tuned y'all really and truly i have been taking like a social media detox kind of sort of like i haven't really been on instagram like that i haven't really just been on social media unless it's kind of work related just because i've been trying to detox and y'all social media is so toxic like so toxic if you let it i'm not just gonna put a negative stigma on social media but y'all i just feel as if when you're you're mentally gone into social media sometimes you have to take that break because it would get to the point where i started like comparing everything and i've never been this hype but sometimes social media will have you doing that without you really intending to do that because you see um because you see other people's lies and you know you just like damn i want this to happen for me right now i want this to happen for me right now and it's just like baby you can't you know you can't rush anything you can't rush god's process sometimes different people have different life paths so and then one thing about social media people always show the good they never show the bad they never show the ugly okay yeah you really cannot let social media deter how you feel about your life and who you are because at the end of the day it's all about who you are as a person and what's going on in real life because social media is just a facade sometimes like some people don't be all the way real and i hate that social media kind of got to that point because i feel like everybody is in competition now like everybody wants to be better than this person and i just feel as if damn like be real I like realistic content i like people that's very real with their content and they're themselves and they don't try to just paint this pretty ass picture for social media and that's a lot of my mentees that i have been helping with content creating like everybody feels like they need to come on social media and they need to be perfect they need to have this perfect life this perfect car the perfect house for their background it's just like no show people how you how you're coming up show people the real you because guess what it's a thousand a million trillion other more people in your situation and a lot of people be so ashamed to like speak on different things or speak on the situation they're in like mentally whether it's a relationship or it's a financial situation they're scared to speak on it because they don't want people judging them or like looking down on them but really that's your life you know so i really am attracted to like people that are so real throughout their content i feel like you could feel the genuineness through somebody's post I, I barely be on my page right now y'all unless i'm posting about work or i'm just posting to stay engaged for people to stay engaged on my instagram and that's the hard part about being a content creator it's just like you have to be active you have to stay engaged i had got on tiktok live for the first time probably like three days ago and on tiktok it was like girl we forgot about you i said oh I'm about to start getting on tiktok because my tiktok babies was missing me but yeah like three people was just like uh-uh i forgot about you sis i'm like oh no you can never forget about me but yeah it's just like you have to stay active on social media even when you don't want to be bothered when you don't want to post and you know all of that so that's the only con about being a social media influencer because you don't want to lose that engagement you don't want your followers to forget about you at all so yeah this wig is coming off as soon as as soon as i get in the house um i literally like y'all social media can bring you so much bread that's why like i really be trying to get on the girl the girlies and having them get into their content bag or even if they want to be a business owner like like really utilize social media to your advantage to sell your products to you know what i'm saying sell your work sell your content like you can make so much money off of it like y'all i am a big believer in multiple sources of income because life is expensive and if you really want to live life you have to make you have to make multiple streams of income if one is just not bringing bringing in enough there's nothing wrong with having two jobs there's nothing wrong with having two jobs and then something on the side that's bringing you some passive income get it how you live you know what i'm saying but a lot of people be so scared to branch out and you can't be scared like Mm -mm. scared money don't make no money at all <laughs> literally and a lot of people be saying that but it be going over a lot of y'all heads if you're scared to branch out if you're scared to start your channel if you're scared for others to see your work your artwork your um your true passion for something how how are you gonna how are you gonna make some money from it how like you really have to put yourself out there and stop being scared because baby how are you gonna make that money and i feel like procrastination is 
the number one stopper for people chasing their dreams because you're, you're procrastinating you keep saying in your head oh i'm gonna do it this week or i'm gonna do it next week and you just never do it i gotta change y'all because i know the type of life i want and that's why i'm constantly working i'm constantly working like i'm constantly working i have different streams of income and i'm still branching out looking for more because it's life like y'all when one thing stops guess what i want to have three other things to rely on and that's just how you're supposed to think y'all like for real and one thing that i love about content creating y'all one sponsorship literally can pay for my rent for the whole month so i don't even stress about rent on the first of the month anymore i don't stress about anything because guess what sponsorships creating content all of that that's why i literally try to put people on game about it y'all okay like dm me if y'all want any help or if y'all do need help content creating i offer mentorship because guess what i'm gonna be on your ass like did you post today did you do this today you know i'm gonna help you create a weekly plan and really reach your goals because why not like why not when you know how to do something teach other people put other people on so yeah mm. okay so i'm about to get out this car i'm about to go inside i like sitting in the car it's so therapeutic i love sitting in the car but let me know more content ideas that you guys have for me um because i do want to start posting more content this month um and just even the following months like i really want to be more active on youtube like i am on instagram and everything else um so yeah i didn't forget about y'all i love y'all so much oh i love y'all I love y'all. Go get in that bag. Like, I'm always on here talking about a bag because guess what? Go get it. I'm going to always motivate y'all to go get that bag. Let me go rip this wig off and be ugly in peace. I love y'all and see you in the next video. Bye.